Hi, I am Artemix. I love reading. EA Games. Challenge everything. And I am extremely sick of hearing everything and anything to do with Hogwarts Legacy. some background information. I am non-binary. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now that you're here, you can choose which of the four house teams you'd like to take through to the Quidditch Cup. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, or Slytherin. Once you've chosen your team, you can guide them through a series of house challenges. And if you're successful in these challenges, then your team should have enough skills to compete in the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup. Who knows, you might even win it. As a child, over to you, Wood. I was obsessed with reading. Right. I would read anything and everything, so Harry Potter... No. Quidditch is easy enough to understand. There are seven players on each side. Three of them are called chasers. Definitely wasn't my main personality, but... This ball's called the Quaffle. The chasers throw the Quaffle to each other and try to get it through one of the hoops to score a goal. Ten points every time the Quaffle goes through one of the hoops. Now, there's another player on each side who's called the Keeper. I'm Keeper for Gryffindor. I have to fly around our hoops and stop the other team from scoring. Stand back. I did purchase this game. Quidditch World Cup? I think it is. What is it? The bludgers walk around trying to knock players off their brooms. That's why you have two beaters on each team. It's their job to protect their side from the bludgers and try to knock him towards the other team. Yeah. Sounds real legit. I did purchase this game. What was it called? Yes, Quidditch World Cup. Okay, I was right. So, I did purchase this game. Actually... To sum up so far, three chasers try and score with the quaffle. The keeper guards the goalposts. The beaters keep the bludgers away from their team. Now the last member of the team is the Seeker, who doesn't have to worry about the Crawford or the Bludgers. This is the Golden Snitch, and it's the most important ball of the lot. It's very hard to catch because it's so fast and difficult to see. It's the Seeker's job to weave in and out of the Chasers, Beaters, Bludgers and Crawford to catch the Snitch before the other team's Seeker. Because whichever Seeker catches the Snitch wins his team an extra 150 points, so they nearly always win. A game of Quidditch only ends when the snitch is caught. Any questions? No? Good. Thanks, Oliver. Oh, and one other thing before you choose your house team. If the team you select does manage to win the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup, you'll be awarded a ticket to this year's Quidditch World Cup. If you win the ticket, you'll be able to choose an international team to support right through the tournament, hopefully to the World Cup final. OK. So if you'd like to choose your house team, we can start to play Quidditch. It might have been my mom that purchased it for me. Money was spent, unfortunately. Money that is way too far past spent to request a refund on. Welcome to the Ravenclaw Quidditch team. 
Before we play our first match, we've got to improve your skills with some training. Let's go meet the rest of the squad. And I figured, hey, I should do something with this. Interestingly enough, as an original Xbox game, this game can very easily be played by anybody with a decent enough computer. Jeremy Stratton here, chaser for Ravenclaw. Get ready to learn about passing the quaffle. That may or may not have actually purchased the original game. Let me know if you're interested in finding the ways that you could do that. Of course, I could not recommend that you do that in a way that could be perceived as illegal. I could never recommend that. Anyways, let's enjoy the game. Press the action button. Pass the booster control to direct your pass. Unfortunately, I also did purchase many, if not all, of the companion games to every movie. This challenge is all about passing the puzzle. Your three chasers will be flying in a V-shaped formation, and between each chaser, you'll see a magical ring. These rings will cycle between yellow and green. The chasers must pass the puzzle back and forth through the rings while they are missing a ring. So, if anybody has interest in watching that as opposed to a certain other game that was released... That's wonderful! We've won our first Quidditch card! The more cards we win, the more our team will be able to do. These cards will open up all sorts of other things too. You can take a look at your Quidditch cards anytime you like as long as you're not actually playing. Let me know. Press this button and select the View Cards option. Use the directional pad to cycle through the cards we've collected. You'll also find hints on how to win more cards. And let me know if you have an interest in the actual discourse surrounding this. I'm kind of sick of it being a topic, and I don't even exist on Twitter. Jeremy Stratton here, chaser for Ravenclaw. Get ready to learn about passing the quaffle. If it is not something that you are interested in for burnout, for discourse, for any of those reasons, please don't feel like you have to watch. Hi there, Joe here. To pass the quaffle, press the action button. Use the booster control to direct your pass. And also, if you would like to, check out my other stuff. This is the first Harry Potter or JKR related thing that I've done on my channel. I'm really just trying to get the algorithm to leave me alone with all of those Harry Potter legacy ads. This challenge is all about No thanks. Hi there, Cho here. To pass the quaffle, press the action button. Use the booster to to direct your pass. Excellent! I think you've got it! Call it my natural introversion. 
I would just rather redirect all of this attention, if possible. Roger Davies, Ravenclaw Chaser. All about tackling and shooting on goal coming up. And since I don't have a choice about the money that was used to purchase this game originally... This is a one-on-one -on -one challenge between one of your chasers and a ghost. Edgar Cloggs is the ghost in question, and he's been hanging around the Quidditch pitch for as long as anyone can remember. Edgar was obviously an extremely proficient Quidditch player in his day. He's going to be flying around the pitch with a profit, trying to avoid your chaser. The aim of the challenge is to tackle Edgar, take the quaffle cover back, and throw it into one of the goal blocks. Edgar will not only try to stop your chasers from gaining the quaffle, but he'll also try to stop them from scoring. Hi there, Chan here. Just a quick reminder, press the action button to tackle and the shoot button will arrange the goal blocks. Good luck! Great work! A new Quidditch card! And any of the aspects of the Harry Potter universe that are questionable, problematic, any of that. I don't believe any of that is included in Quidditch World Cup. Aside from the obvious in which children are playing a game that is extremely dangerous to them. Hello there, I'm Cho Chang. Seeker for Ravenclaw. And for them? Let's learn about being a seeker. As a child, I was very willing to do dangerous things, so I don't feel the need to comment on that aspect of it. A golden snitchet has escaped from a snitchet reservation, and because I'm a seeker, I've been asked to catch it. This is a wonderful opportunity to learn about snitching and boosting when playing in a real match, and Madam Hoot just kindly agreed to help us out. There are plenty of people who have taken the Harry Potter universe and all of the information that I could imagine extrapolating from it and put it into a YouTube video already. There's a 10 hour video that I actually really enjoyed watching and listening to. Well done! Now you've completed your first three house challenges, you can play a real Quidditch match! And kind of scratch that, hey, that was weird, itch. Finish three challenges and your first Quidditch match, then you can select me. Personally, I find this game really fun, but I can't say honestly whether it will be fun to anybody else Jeremy because this Jesus. whole game for me is extreme nostalgia glasses. Being able to fly on a broom. This challenge is all about it's very limited. Hi there, Cho here. To pass the quaffle, press the action button. Use the broomstick control to direct your pass. You've beaten the house record! You can use your joystick to move front, back, left, right. This challenge is all about passing. But you don't get to choose. Hi there, Cho here. To pass the quaffle, press the action button. Use the broomstick control to direct your pass. <laughs> Yeah. 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 
Excellent! I think you've got it! How you fly, per se? So it is fairly limited, but I really enjoy it. So you like a match with Hufflepuff, would you? Let's play for the Quidditch Cup and may the best team win.
Thank you for sticking around, watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want more of this. Let me know if you want something else. I will probably be putting a lot of this footage on the channel. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night, and I hope you're doing okay. At the moment, Raventlaw is at the top of the league. If you're not having the best day, I hope that you have someone that you can talk to about it. If you don't feel like you do have someone that you can talk to about it, I hope you know and believe me when I say that My name's Duncan Ingleby. Jason Samuels and I are the Ravenclaw Beaters. Being a beater is the best. Let's go learn about bludgers. It is very possible to love you. It is very possible to care about you. And anybody that doesn't is really missing out. In this challenge, you'll be learning how to defend against bludgers. One of your chasers, flanked by two beaters, will be searching for targets throughout the grounds. What the beaters have to do is hit a bludger at each of the targets. Sounds simple enough, except that once the bludger has hit a target, it will rebound and pursue the chaser with it. Two chasers here with a reminder. Even if it doesn't feel like anyone in your life currently cares about you, I genuinely care about literally every single person on this planet. In this challenge, you'll be learning how to defend against bludgers. One of your chasers, flanked by two beaters, will be searching for targets. Cho Chang here with a reminder.
the team record. Unfortunately, even the ones that want me dead. So you have at least one person on the planet who cares about you, who wants you to be doing okay.